The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Miramar High takes on West Broward High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where 20 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, as you see, things are a little different this year. We will be following COVID-19 guidelines with everyone socially distanced and wearing masks throughout the game, including myself. And to further reduce risk, we will not have a tournament this year. Instead, we will have individual games. But that doesn't mean it won't still be fun. Tonight's game features Miramar High versus West Broward High in what should be quite a showdown. So what are these students playing for? Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. And both teams will also receive additional prizes from our sponsor, Public Supermarket. Thank you, Publix. And for the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, each student will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. Now let's hear it for these sponsors and prizes. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with law. In common law, its types include civil and grand, and are led by a foreman. Give this term for a group who deliberates until they have decided a court case. Yes, old Doppel. A jury. Very good, all right, West Broward, we're on the board. Cooking, what cooking term means to soak meat for a while before cooking it? Yes, Hamed. Defrost. Incorrect, West Broward, Kayla. Marinate. Very good, all right, Rivers. Once called the North River to distinguish it from what is now the Delaware River, Identify this river named for the British explorer who visited New York and that, yes, Abhishek. Hudson River. Very good. All right, multiple meanings. It can name a loud ringing sound. The Chinese dynasty from 618 to 908 AD. Yes, Oladapo? Ping. Incorrect. Miramar, I'll finish the question. And a distinctively sharp taste. Give this four letter word. That is also the brand, yes, Abhishek? Tank. Very good. Spelling. Spell the word there as used in the sentence. The textbooks are on the shelf over there. Yes, Jazz. T-H-E-R-E. -E. Very good. Presidents. His Scottish terrier, Fala, was considered the most photographed dog in the world. Name this 20th century Democrat who won a record four presidential elections. Abhishek. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Flashback Diner in Davie. Here our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. Famed for making cameo appearances in his own movies that include, oh yes, Saladapo. Stanley. Incorrect. Miramar, I'll finish the question. Famed for making cameo appearances in his own movies that include Marnie, North by Northwest, and Vertigo. Name this British film director and master of suspense who also made the thriller Psycho. Abhishek. Richard Attenborough. Incorrect. It's Alfred Hitchcock. And even though Hitchcock is considered one of the most influential and revered directors of all times, he never won an Oscar. Next question deals with slang. 
When a teenager says legit, it's a shortened form of yes, old apple. Legitimately. Incorrect, Miramar. When a teenager says legit, it's a shortened form of what adjective? Yes, Abhishek. Legitimate. Very good. The Olympics. What Olympic track event requires a team of four people to run without dropping? Yes, Abhishek. The four by hundred relay. Very good. TV. Which Netflix original TV series began with the disappearance of a boy named Will? Jazz. Stranger Things. Very good. Oh, there's the horn, and that means the end to the first strike round. We have a very close and exciting game. Currently, Miramar is leading with 50 points. West Broward has 40 points, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> I felt so strongly for the healthcare workers. I just wanted to help them any way I could. On the Chick-fil-A app, you can collect points. So I started asking people in our community to donate theirs, and it just grew and grew and grew. Rachel came to me and said, how can I get them redeemed? She had it all prepared and done. We delivered over a 1,000 sandwiches to local hospitals. Danica had written on every individual little bag words of encouragement and support. That was just going above and beyond. We work very well together. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. The first round of action ended with a very close game. Miramar is leading. They have 50 points, but West Broward's right behind them with 40 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with the Miramar Patriots. Welcome. We're going to start with Hamed, who's a junior. And the question of the day is, is there a possible career choice or field that you'd like to go in? Uh, I aspire to be a doctor. Very good. All right. Next to you is Abhishek. He's a junior. And what is your career choice? Uh, computer scientist. Very nice. And the captain of Miramar's team is Etsav. He's a senior. Yeah, I'd like to be a neurosurgeon. Very nice. OK, and let's meet your competitors. They are the West Broward Bobcats. Welcome. <laughs> we'll start with Kayla, who's a senior. Kayla, same question to you. Is there a particular career field you'd like to go into? I'd like to be a mechanical engineer. Very nice. And Jazz, you're a senior. Same question for you. I'd like to be an anthropologist. All right, lovely. And the captain of West Broward's team is Oladapo. He's a senior. I'd like to be a radiologist. Very nice. All right, let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Now, normally, we would have the players come to the joust desk to compete, but this year, players will stay at their podiums. First players competing are going to be Utsav and Oladapo. All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. The National Air and Space Museum and the National Zoological Park are divisions of what enormous museum in Washington, D.C.? Yes, that's up. Smithsonian. Very good. All right, we're going to stay with Miramar. The following bonus questions deal with museums. Question number one. A branch of this museum opened in Abu Dhabi in 2017. Name this art museum, once a house for French heads of state, whose entrance in downtown Paris is now through a large glass pyramid. Abhishek. The Louvre. 
Very good. Here's your second bonus question. In what state is the Lincoln Douglas Debate Museum? Abhishek. Illinois. Very good. And bonus question number three. Identify this New York City museum whose namesake's first name was Solomon. Abhishek. The Met. Incorrect. It's the Guggenheim Museum. All right. We're going to move on to our next two contestants, Abhishek and Jazz. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. All right. Get ready to spell, meaning any general or comprehensive division, spell category. Yes, Abhishek. C-A-T-E-G-O-R-Y. Very good. And we're staying with Miramar. The following bonus questions all involve spelling. Bonus question number one. Meaning widespread destruction, spell havoc. Yes, that's Av. H-A-V-O-C. Very good. Bonus question number two. Meaning to convey a property to a creditor as security on a loan, spell mortgage. Let's have. M-O-R-T-A-G-E. Incorrect. It's M-O-R-T-G-A-G-E. Bonus question number three. A slow-moving lizard that can change colors. Spell chameleon. Abhishek. C-H-A-M-E-L-E-O-N. Very good. All right, my last two to compete are Hamed and Caleb. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Fill in the colorful blank of this Dr. Seuss book title. One fish, two fish, red fish, and? Yes, Hamed. Bluefish. Very good. All right, Miramar. The following bonus questions all deal with filling in the blank of the title of these books with the color missing. Bonus question number one. Complete the title of this classic Nathaniel Hawthorne novel, The Blank Letter. Abhishek. The yellow letter? Incorrect, Scarlet Letter. Bonus question number two. Cynthia Erivo won a Tony Award for portraying Seeley in a musical revival of the Alice Walker novel, The Color... Hamed? Red. Incorrect, it's The Color Purple. Bonus question number three. A film with an abbreviated title was later made of Fanny Flagg's fried blank tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Hamed. Green. Very good. Green is correct. And there's the buzzer. That means the end to the joust. We do have Miramar leading. They now have 130 points. West Broward has 40 points. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens.
Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be today's champion. Today's game has Miramar High competing against West Broward High School. Currently, Miramar is leading. They have 130 points. West Broward has 40 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since West Broward is trailing, they get to go first, while Miramar waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with B as in Bravo. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B as in Bravo. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Starts with B. Cue music, West Broward, and let's begin. Canadian province, typically abbreviated BC. Kayla. British Columbia. Sapphires are usually this color. Jazz. Blue. Trumpet-like instrument with no valves played by soldiers. Odapo. Bassoon. The one face of a pyramid that is not necessarily triangular. Jazz. Bass. The capital of Belgium. The action of exchanging goods without using money. Jazz. Barter. This animated character was known for his catchphrase, eh, what's up, Doc? Odapo? Bugs Bunny. A mollusk with two shells hinged together like the oyster, clam, or mussel. Encephalitis is a swelling of this organ. This only liquid halogen is reddish brown and obtained from seawater. All right, West Broward, we got through all of your questions. Good job. So let's hear it for West Broward High. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Miramar High. And welcome back, Miramar. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with B as in Bravo. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter B as in Bravo. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. OK, let's cue music and let's begin. Canadian province, typically abbreviated BC. Abhishek. British Columbia. Sapphires are usually this color. Utsav. Blue. Trumpet-like instrument with no vowels played by soldiers. Abhishek. Baritone. The one face of a pyramid that is not necessarily triangular. Ahmed? Base. The capital of Belgium. Abhishek? Brussels. The action of exchanging goods without using money. What's Bartering. Up? This animated character was known for his catchphrase, eh, what's up, doc? A mollusk with two shells hinged together like the oyster, clam, or mussel. Encephalitis is a swelling of this organ. What's up? Bronchioles. This only liquid halogen is reddish brown and obtained from seawater. What's up? Bromine. All right, good job. Good job, both teams. We got through all the questions. The only ones you guys missed is the trumpet-like instrument with no valves played by soldiers. That's a bugle. We also have a mollusk with two shells hinged together like the oyster, clam, or mussel is a bivalve. And then encephalitis is a swelling of this organ, the brain. All right, that ends the rapid action round. We have Miramar leading with 190 points. West Broward has 90 points. Let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. <laughs>
for your kid's birthday, you want them to feel like the only kid in the world. But this year, it made it really difficult to have a birthday party. My mom took me to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A just goes above and beyond. I knew <laughs> that they would make it special. There was like a little note for a mobile order that said, can you please sing happy birthday? Happy they birthday. sung happy birthday to me and I cried. She was in fact happy. <laughs> <laughs> we got you something, Nova. What is that? A cookie. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. A good game going as Miramar is holding on tightly to their lead over West Broward. Our current score is 190 to 90. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Our schools go against each other again with toss up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points each. Just a reminder if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with fractions. In lowest simplified terms, what fractional part of a day is three hours? Yes, Oladapo. One eighth. Rock and roll. Regarded as one of the greatest lead singers in rock music history and known for his four octave vocal range, name this deceased frontman of Queen. Yes, Oladapo. Freddie Mercury. Dances. As a teenager, Composer George Gershwin wrote what piece that shares its name with a popular Argentine dance style? Yes, Abhishek. The Nutcracker. Incorrect, West Broward. That would be the tango. Building materials. Ancient Rome developed what common building material? Yes, Jazz. Aqueducts. Incorrect, Miramar Hamad. Bricks. Incorrect, it's concrete. Math. In math, what type of diagram has a rectangle representing the universal set filled with circles representing sets that might intersect with each other. Yes, Oladapo. A Venn diagram. Metals. Which lightweight metal is the most abundant metal in Earth's crust? Yes, Oladapo. Iron. West Miramar. Abhishek. Uh. It's aluminum. Infections. Conjunctivitis is an inflammation more commonly known by what colorful name? Aldapo. Pink eye. Authors. Cry the beloved country author Alan Payton was born in what country whose most famous writers also include former president of that nation, Nelson Mandela? Yes, Jazz. South Africa. Energy. Natural gas is typically dehydrated to remove what substance from it? Yes, Hamid. Um, oxygen. Incorrect. West Broward? Kayla. Water. Shortcuts. Name the letter of the alphabet you must push along with the control or command key to paste something into a document. Yes, Oladapo? V. Disney. Disney bought Blue Sky Studios, which had made five animated movies in what series about prehistoric animals that features Manny the Woolly Mammoth and Sid, yes, Jazz? Ice Age. Football. Give the football term for hitting a passer or kicker after he no longer, yes, Oladapo? Tackle. Incorrect, Miramar. Yes, Abhishek? Roughing the kicker. Space. Its Expedition 55 crew came back to Earth in 2018. Name this object that has had astronauts in it continuously for nearly 20 years. Oladapo. The International Space Station. TV. Give the two-word title of the CBS crime series whose bad guy is usually called the unsub or unknown, yes, Utsa? Criminal Minds. Myth. In Myth, Hercules destroyed what creature that grew two heads for everyone it 
Yes, Hydra. Jess. Say it again, Jess. Hydra. Mark Twain. Name the Mark Twain title character who becomes rich after finding Injun Joe's treasure and sharing it. Yes, Jazz. Tom Sawyer. Bones. Which bone runs from the elbow to the pinky side of your wrist? Abhishek. The metacarpal. Incorrect. West Broward, Old Dapo. Femur. Incorrect. It's the ulna. World leaders. With Ronald Reagan, he co-signed the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty that President Trump has now withdrawn the U.S. from. Name this final leader of the former Soviet New Union. Yes, what's up? Gorbachev. Foreign countries. During World War II, it supported the Axis at first and thus had its Shah replaced, yes, what's up? Italy. Incorrect, West Broward. And thus had its Shah replaced with his more pro-Western son. Name this nation that changed its name from Persia in 1935. The answer is Iran. Elements. The inner core of the Earth is thought to be about 85% iron and 15% what metallic element with the same name? Hamad? Nickel. Countries. Oh! Well, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as West Broward came from behind to steal the lead. They are ending with 310 points. Miramar's ending with 270 points. Congratulations to West Broward. What an exciting game. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich this morning higher year. And of course, great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both teams. And at this time, we want to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Sheridan Tech takes on Cooper City High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.